Well, we are back with a, a recent but, but beloved tradition here to NBC News, our Inspiring America Inspiration List. Yeah, indeed. And this year's honorees were just announced, recognizing people making a positive impact in their communities. And Savannah, you met one that you haven't stopped talking about. Oh, she changed yeah. my life. Susan Burton is helping formerly incarcerated women all across the country by giving them much needed support to find jobs, housing, and most of all, hope. Because Susan knows firsthand just how hard it can be to start a new life after serving time. Growing up in the projects of South Los Angeles, there was hopelessness all around Susan Burton. And then I lost my son. I could no longer hold on. To cope, Susan turned to drugs and alcohol. And for 20 long years, all she knew were the perils of drug addiction and the vicious turnstile in and out of prison. When you would leave prison, I'm sure you were thinking, I never want to come back to this place. Savannah, the last time I left prison, the guard said to me, Burton, you'll be back. I'm keeping this bed for you. And while I rejected on the surface what he said, the reality was I was not prepared to change the trajectory of my life. But then Susan got into a rehabilitation center that treated her not as a criminal, but as someone who simply needed help. And with that came a personal awakening. What I discovered, there's nothing wrong with me. It's something wrong with a world that puts people in prison, sends them back unprepared, and then beats them over the head with no, no, no. So in 1998, after she got sober, Susan opened up her own rehabilitation home where formerly incarcerated women could live as they were provided counseling, legal services, and job training. She called it a new way of life. I'm really proud of you. Today, her nonprofit runs or partners with more than 40 of those homes across the U.S. I wanted to instill hope that I had been robbed of so many times. It feels like it's not that far from you at any given time that young girl who was in and out of prison and feeling hopeless. She's not far, she's with me and drives me to make sure that other women don't feel like that walking out of a prison door, that they have something to help them rebuild their future. How many of you have been here more than once? Now, when Susan returns to prison, it's with a message of hope. And your lives are really, really important. On one visit, she even ran into that guard who told her the only place she belonged was behind bars. <laughs> what a moment. Yes, he saw me coming back all right. He saw me coming back leading women to freedom. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that moment yeah. so bad. Uh, oh, we she love that. The most inspiring people I have ever met. Yeah. Wow. She's incredible. And one of the things I love about her is she didn't wait until, oh, I've got it all made. I got a lot of money yeah. in the bank. Now I'll give mm -hmm. back. She was still struggling herself. She mm -hmm. was still trying to make it and decided yeah. I'm going to save up this money I have. I'm going to buy this house and I'm going to go back down to Skid Row in LA where I know they drop off the women who are huh. just getting out of prison. Huh. Most of them don't have anywhere to go. Hmm. They might not even have an ID. They don't have an address. They got nothing. And she said, come, come live with me. Oh, wow. And oh she's just an incredible woman. Huh. You'll hear Saints. more about her story and meet some of the wow. people she's helped. She's she's incredible. So I mean, she's on our inspiring list for this year. You raved about it and you undersold it. Yeah. <laughs> she's amazing. Amazing. She's awesome. That's why I love this series because you would never have heard that story yeah. otherwise. Yeah. yeah, we do hear from some people we don't know and some people whose names we do. So tomorrow we have another honoree, mm -hmm. Eva Longoria. And we should mention that Savannah Lester and myself will be hosting Inspiring America, the 2023 Inspiration List this weekend. We hope you'll watch it. It's on Saturday night. 8 o'clock Eastern and Pacific here on NBC and on Sunday across various platforms on NBC News. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.